All right, everybody, so we just got back from speaking at Warren High School uh, to 500 seniors, and we gave the speech of a lifetime to those 500 high school seniors. And honestly, this speech that we gave yesterday is for every high school senior graduating in 2020. Now, the day in and of itself was it's a very special day. I want to kind of go over, uh, first and foremost, what it's, what it's like to prepare for uh, an inspirational and motivational speech. Uh, for me, I've been doing this for many, many years. Honestly, I've been dreaming about speaking in front of people and, and, and being a, a well-known orator uh, and motivational speaker since the age of five, believe it or not. And so as I prepare for these speeches and get to do more of these speeches, one of the things that is really important to me is helping others to know what it's really like to be a motivational speaker uh, because um, it's, it's a really unique experience in and of itself. So that day when we were actually heading over to uh, the high school, one of the very first things that I do is go over all my notes and the key points that I want to hit uh, as I'm preparing to inspire you know, the, the audience that I'm getting to speak in front of that day. And so when I was thinking about the high school seniors, I wanted to, to, to break down you know, not only why I was there, uh, but who I am and what, what, how my story relates to them. Obviously, I want to help them to understand how to achieve the things that I'm talking about. And then, of course, I want to close out the speech strong with a, a really powerful quotation or, or at least a really clear question or statement that I want them to walk away with um, as I finish my speech and as they walk home and, and go home and, and move on with their lives. I always try to think about what are they going to be leaving, walking away with that speech from uh, after I've delivered it. Getting on stage, you know, I always feel like the thing that I, I think about the most when I'm getting ready for, uh, or right before I go on to give a speech is just how excited I am to share love with people in the form of what has inspires me, what makes me feel alive, which is just being true to who I am and and chasing the things that make me happy, you know, that really make sense to my life and my purpose in life. So I'm just thinking about getting the opportunity to do that again. And every time I get to do it, it just means a lot to me. So I don't even feel very nervous at all. I just feel excited. So that's I'm just thinking about getting to the moment. I'm excited about the moment. So, <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, like, what I get, what I do when I get ready for a speech, when I'm driving to the 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 event, I listen to music that really doesn't usually doesn't have any words, but it just conveys a feeling and an energy, and allows me to kind of go to that place, so that I can take everybody else there with me when I get there wherever I'm going, so. So that's, those are the things that I was thinking about that morning as I was going over my note cards. I don't even read off the note cards or anything like that. I just focus on, honestly, the, those meet key main points that are gonna help me to have a solid, strong flow uh, as a motivational speaker. Now, when we got to the school, uh, I took a couple minutes. I sat in the car uh, as I listened to some uh, great, powerful music. One of my favorite uh, composers is Ludovico Inaldi, and he's an Italian composer. Uh, I love his music. It's a lot of piano music, and it allows me to, without words, um, just go into my own mindset and really grab and harness that energy that I want to then give off to uh, the students or the audience that I'm preparing to speak in front of moments before I actually go on stage in front of them. Uh, we got to meet with a lot of the students and teachers as we were walking through the campus and walking towards the gym and again I'm just channeling that energy uh, that I want to give off when I speak, that presence that I want to have on stage and when we walked through the gym and I got to see the students sitting in the audience and sitting in the stands not really knowing who I am uh, but knowing that once I start to speak that I'm going to be able to grab their attention and harness their imagination and take them to the place that I want to take them to uh, as I go through my 30-minute speech that I actually delivered that day. What's up, seniors? How you guys doing? I want to hear it again, guys. How y'all doing? Y'all about to graduate. I mean, you guys got to be pretty stoked, right? Now, as I was going through the speech, the thing that I want you guys to know is that I imagined that I was speaking to not only the high school seniors in that audience, 
but to every high school senior across the nation that's graduating in 2020. I wanted every high school senior to know that they have an opportunity at this moment to make a decision that they're going to chase their dreams, that they're going to dedicate the rest of their life, starting with this next chapter, to listen to, to actually listening to and, and, and taking action when the dreams and ideas and goals that have been bothering them, keeping them up at night, uh, that they've been dreaming about during the day, that they're now going to have an opportunity and seize the moment right now, make the decision right now to start chasing those dreams because the world is better when we are, are being true to who we are, when we are changing our world by evolving into the person that we were born to be. And I wanted them so badly to have that message and to capture that on film so that we can share that with thousands, hopefully tens of thousands of high school seniors that are graduating this year. It was a wonderful experience and I am truly grateful to everybody at Warren High School that gave me and my team a chance at Go Be More to share that Go Be More message. Now upcoming guys, I want you to know that we have many more speeches and events coming up. The very next one is on March 15th uh, at Chapman University where teachers, coaches, athletes, and parents, they're all gonna be coming together for a very special brunch that I get to be the keynote speaker at and I'm very honored about that opportunity. So shout out to Chapman University. Uh, super excited to inspire all of them and to, to share a really unique message based on the Just One Challenge and building their, their brand, um, building their, their team, and building their legacy brick by brick, just one step, one student athlete, one event at a time. Okay guys, so to help us grow the Go Be More movement, we need you guys to do a couple things for us, okay? Uh, we definitely would love for you guys to like and subscribe to our channel, but I truly hope that everything that we're creating from the videos to the apparel, uh, to the articles that we're writing, to the messages that we're sharing on a regular basis through all of our social channels, that it's inspiring you. And of course, check out some of our uh, uh, other videos here on the sides as you can see them. I think one of our, our my latest vlog posts, and of course, uh, motivational videos that I'm creating on a regular basis as well to keep you inspired to go be more every day. I am John Rankin and I'm what the world is chasing but I truly hope that every message and every video that we share inspires you to chase your dreams and to become what the world is chasing too.